Hello everyone, today we're going to be talking about a storage solution from our friends at Sandisk Professional, the G-RAID 2. So if you're ready to take your photo or video editing workflow to the next level, stick with me as I go over what makes this RAID solution ideal for creative workflow. Now I've been using the G-RAID 2 for a little over six months now and couldn't be happier with this product. But I must admit that before it came into my life, my storage workflow was one click or spilled coffee away from a serious catastrophe. Hard drives were piling up and I found myself digging through drives trying to find space. To help alleviate the problem, I purchased a large capacity hard drive to store everything but was always afraid the drive would fail on me one day and I'd lose all my clients and personal data. That's when I decided to reach out to our friends at Sandisk Professional to find out what product they would recommend for creative professionals like myself. Their answer was the G-RAID 2. Now, before we get into what makes a Sandisk Professional G-RAID 2 perfect for creatives, let's briefly go over what a RAID is and why it's so beneficial to a professional workflow. RAID stands for Redundant Array of Independent Disks. And although the RAID setup began as a form of achieving higher speed transfers by joining multiple drives and writing data across all the drives simultaneously, it has now been adopted and most known for its benefit of redundancy. Let's start with RAID 0. RAID 0 features striping, a process of dividing data into blocks across several drives in order to enhance performance. Although this yields the most amount of available storage, I wouldn't recommend this configuration for backup purposes as it doesn't provide redundancy. This would be most useful as a cache drive setup or project drive as transfer and write speeds are faster. A second option, and one I would recommend if you purchase a G-RAID 2, is RAID 1. In RAID 1, data is written to all drives simultaneously, effectively creating a clone of the first drive, providing data redundancy. That means that if one of the two drives in our G-RAID 2 was to fail or become damaged, we would be able to replace it with a new drive without any data loss. A con of this configuration is that you will only have access to 50% of the total capacity of your drives. So let's say we had two 4 terabyte drives totaling 8 terabytes. We would only have access to 4 terabytes of the writable space. SanDisk Professional also offers other products like the Shuttle 4 and Shuttle 8 that allow you to have a total of 4 or 8 drive options. Having four or more drives will allow us to use RAID 10. RAID 10 provides the performance of RAID 0 and data protection level of RAID 1, combining drives into groups of two in which data is married. I'm going to keep it simple and recommend these three RAID configurations, but it's good to know that there are a few other options for RAID configurations, and there are plenty of videos out there explaining the pros and the cons of each. I want to take this time to talk about the G-RAID 2 and why this could be your next storage solution. Let's start with available storage options. The G-RAID 2 can be purchased with 8, 12, 24, and 36 terabytes of total storage. Take this G-RAID here. I've gone with the 36 terabyte version and it's configured in RAID 1, giving me 18 terabytes of high speed storage. Now these speeds are achieved with the drives that SanDisk have included in this product. The Western Digital Ultrastar Data Center hard drives are made with speed and reliability in mind. They're 7200 RPM spinning hard drives and helium sealed. They have read and write speeds of up to 500 megabytes a second, which is why you'll find these drives in all RAID model SanDisk offer with the exception of the Shuttle SSD. The G-RAID 2 offers Thunderbolt 3 connectivity, giving the user access to 20 gigabyte a second transfer speeds and USB 3.2 Gen 1 Type-C with up to 5 gigabyte a second transfer speeds. 
and even HDMI for supporting multi-streaming of HD, 2K, 4K, and HDR. With dual Thunderbolt 3 ports, we can daisy chain up to five additional devices, making it easy to hook up my G Drive SSD, transfer the footage I need, and work off SSD speeds when I'm editing a project. You can also output to a 4K display if your model supports it. On the back of the G-Ray 2, you'll also find the power button, power port, and Kensington lock for additional security. The front of the unit has an illuminated G-Drive logo, and when pressed firmly inward, at the top of this panel, we get access to our two drive bay. Each one of the drives is on a caddy, and when the gray button is pressed, the black tab will hinge out, and you can pull the drive out if you need to replace it. Now I know I just threw a lot of information at you, but I think if you combine this product and the short tutorial I gave on how to set up a file management system, which I'll link down below, I think you'll have a great system for archiving and transferring all your files. Now I want to remind every single one of you that all these products mentioned in the video are available at sammys.com. And if you happen to find yourself in the area, stop on by one of our Southern California locations. We're located in Los Angeles, Santa Ana, and Pasadena. That's it for us here today, guys. But before I go, remember, here at Sammy's, we're so much more than a camera store.